There are heaps of fantastic new Mac games this month. Let's take a look. Note: Metro Exodus, which was initially set to release on Mac in March, has been delayed until April 14th. Number 10 is Can't Drive This, a competitive slash cooperative multiplayer party racing game. In Can't Drive This, you must drive your monster truck. At the same time, your friends build the road in front of you. Sounds easy? Well, if you go too slowly, your vehicle will explode. A bunch of unlockable parts and a vehicle editor will keep things interesting. There's also a road editor where you can create and share custom tracks. Neat. If you don't have buddies to play with, single player and multiplayer with strangers are also an option. A wacky racing concept will appear to co-op groups and those who enjoy racing action. Can't Drive This is available on Steam and should run on Macs back to 2012. Number 9, we have Crypto Against All Odds. Crypto Against All Odds is a tower defense game where you take a cybersecurity expert's role to fight against hackers and other blockchain threats. Explore the rise of crypto culture with stylish gameplay elements and interactive fiction. Read terminals, chat with other fictional users, and set out to save Bitcoin itself as you take on main missions, side activities, and upgrading your base with new crypto units and defenses. If you enjoy tower defense and crypto, this is an easy pickup. Crypto Against All Odds is available on Steam and the Mac App Store and should run on most Macs. Number 8 is Danger Scavenger. Enter the fast-paced world of Danger Scavenger, full of cyberpunk themes, roguelike runs, and a curious amount of skyscraper rooftops. Slice, shoot, and explode robots across buildings as you fight your way to higher levels. A constant stream of loot and upgrades will keep you playing. Select from six different unique scavengers with exceptional skills and loadouts. You're going to need all their firepower to take on five different greedy corporations and their endless supply of robots. A great game to satisfy quick bursts of action and looting will appeal to hardcore and casual gamers alike. Be sure to check out the demo first. Danger Scavenger is available on Steam Early Access and should run on Macs back to 2014. Number 7 we have Gravia. Gravia, the latest game to be inspired by Portal, offers a fun and exciting twist on the standard Portal formula. How do you stand out? Add black holes, of course. Called Rifts, here you must use your sci-fi glove to generate rifts, moving obstacles, or yourself at high speed. The fun part is watching the simulated physics demonstrate what a black hole might look like in a closed environment. As soon as you open a rift, objects begin to come loose and get sucked in. Even stronger things can break or bend with enough force. Puzzle and Portal lovers should pick this one up. There's a demo if you aren't sure. Gravia is available on Steam Early Access and should run on Macs with a 4GB or better graphics card or an Apple Silicon Mac. Number 6 is Genesis Noir. Telling a story only possible in a video game, Genesis Noir has a killer setup. You play as No Man, stuck in eternity. You are caught in a love triangle with other cosmic beings. The Big Bang? That's a jealous god out to kill your lover. You'll have to freeze time and find a way to destroy creation itself if you want to save your partner. Gameplay is done via a non-traditional point-and-click adventure setting. There are puzzles, exploration, and experimentation to experience. You'll witness various moments of mankind and the birth of new things in the future. Play this one for a bizarre yet fascinating story set across the universe. Genesis Noir is available on Steam and the Epic Games Store and should run on Macs back to 2014. Number 5 we have Gladio and Glory. A free to play title set in Rome's heyday of gladiatorial combat, Gladio and Glory sees you engaging with goofy ragdoll physics and simulated duels. Fights can be instantly lethal as the right hit spells death for you or your opponent. Do well and you can upgrade your gladiator with new armor and execution moves. See how far you can climb the ranks and hear the roars of the crowd. There is also a sandbox mode where you can set up the arena as you like and populate it with tons of fighters. You can even do silly things like a 50 versus 50. Lovers of blood and sand or physics based combat will enjoy this one. Gladio and Glory is available on Steam Early Access and should run on Max back to 2012. Number 4 is Space Space Startopia. 
indulge your inner space slash alien manager with Space Base Startopia, an economic simulation game with base building and strategy. A 10 mission campaign will have you attempting to create the most attractive trade and tourist destination in the universe. Three different decks of the space base will require your attention. The sub deck, fun deck, and bio deck. The sub is for all the things needed for survival, the fun deck is where the good times roll, and the bio deck is where you grow all flora and fauna. Aside from the campaign, there's a sandbox mode to mess around, and both co-op and competitive multiplayer options. Note, some players have found the camera perspective in this game to cause some dizziness. If you are prone to motion sickness, you may want to avoid this one. This game is best played by fans of base building and simulations, now with aliens. Space Base Startopia is available on Steam and should run on Mac with a 4GB or better graphics card or an Apple Silicon Mac. While the game has official M1 support, Steam doesn't support M1 and ARM64 apps natively, so for now, you'll have to launch the game from the game's root folder as you see on screen. This bypasses the Steam interface. Number 3, we have Shelter 3. The Animal Simulator devs are back with Shelter 3. In previous games, you explored the lives of a badger and a lynx family, but now you are in charge of an elephant herd. Taking a more community-centric approach, you'll be responsible for migrating your herd across the land, keeping the young safe, and ensuring everyone is adequately fed. Use ancient knowledge and special elephant empathy to navigate dangerous situations and discover the way forward. Shelter 3 is available on Steam and should run on Macs back to 2014. Number 2 is Loop Hero. A mashup of roguelike, deck building, and idler genres, Loop Hero is set in a timeless world where its people have been plunged into chaos. Choose your hero and set them out on the loop. Use your deck of mystical cards to place new enemies, terrain, buildings, and rewards in the path of your hero character. While seemingly simple at first, there is some nuanced strategy at play to select the optimal location and type of card to use. You'll unlock new classes, better gear, and more heroes as you play. Eventually, you'll have a chance to take on challenging bosses and guardians in your attempt to break the timeless cycle of the world. Check out this title for a relaxing but engaging fantasy experience. Loop Hero is available on Steam and the Epic Game Store and should run on most Macs. Number 1, we have Devotion. A first-person horror game dripping with atmosphere, Devotion shows the life of a family steeped in religious belief. Explore a 1980s Asian apartment complex as it slowly descends into a hellish nightmare. You'll get to experience story-driven mystery and horror as you are immersed in East Asia's theme and culture from the appropriate music and visuals. You'll have to witness each family member's particular religious vows and what is the depth of their devotion. Play this one if you like getting the pants scared off you. Devotion is available on the developer's website and should run on Macs with a 2GB or better graphics card or an Apple Silicon Mac. Here are some bonus mentions. Mitoza, an oddly fascinating free-to-play game that isn't really a game at all. Choose your own path in this surreal adventure title. Wild Dose, First Session an ambitious, futuristic walking simulator that is also somehow an RPG, which explores various cyber realities as a junkie in this first chapter of many. Altered, this peaceful puzzler will have you playing unique characters who must bend and adapt to solve each level. A demo is available to try out first. Disco Elysium, the final cut. One of the best RPGs in years just got better with a big update adding full voice acting and new quests that dramatically changed the game world. Out of the Park Baseball 22. The latest update to the popular baseball management sim is here, with new features such as 3D stadiums and improved coaching and strategy elements. What is your favorite new game on Mac this month? Let us know in the comments. This month, there was something for everyone in just about every category. I found a lot of enjoyable games to play and try out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with Mac Gaming. My name is John, and thanks for watching.